Oh! So low, yawn! Shake some booty? <laughs> like that. You were like that back then too. Don't act surprised again. Fucking baller, big yawn. Uh what is up, Lynx and Neverland? Neverlynx, if you will. We have a request from Effin Tomboy over on Patreon for I'm Okay by Soyan. It's a solo Soyan, solo yawn, as I'm calling it. Um, there are no subtitles, so um, I'm going to be going off of vibes and whatever she may happen to say in English for now. Uh, let's go. Just pop out and go to her mouth. <laughs> That's her alarm clock. <laughs> yeah. Who are you winking at? Stop it. I was going to say at the beginning there was that, a little bit of that distortion and, and it sounded like it was almost that sort of like alt punk kind of sound, but then we went a totally different direction. We got, we're getting vocally on here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, of when Sujin was in in the group that she uh, liked to have these lines that she would deliver in almost a, a more of like a, a calmer spoken word delivery, but then she would end the note by bringing it up and Soyeon's killing that shit here. Oh, oh, I know what we're about to do. I know we're getting, uh, but, um, <laughs> I was just gonna say there's a lot of sass and a lot of, it's like a very cute video. There's a lot of pink and this cartoon thing. Uh, but there's a lot of like, there's a lot of sass in the choreography that she's, that she's bringing and she looks great. So that's all I was gonna say. And now, now I interrupted the fucking rap. I'm alright. Yo, I like this anime. I want to see purple haired Soyeon. Um, this, uh, I like to, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to look at the lyrics, cause it's g Idol. so like, I, I can't, you could just go on the sound, cause they sound, they always sound good and all that stuff, but what they're saying also is a part of it, but, um, I like that the way she changes up, first off, you know, when the instrumental cuts out and she just keeps going, that's just her showing that, that rapper skill, because she doesn't need the instrumental, she, she controls her timing, the instrumental works for her, not the other way around, it's what sets her apart for sure, but she also does something different here that I haven't, I don't think I've seen very much of. I'm not saying she doesn't do it, but I haven't seen a lot of it, which is 
first she starts with just kind of that cool swagger that, that that we that we know and love i know she can she can go hard she can come out here and she can spit the bars um but then she she kind of changes up the vibe and goes back to this like sassy almost flirty kind of um kind of persona you know the way that she moves her hands and just the attitude and all that stuff which is Kind of the kind of stuff that you see. I don't know when this came out, but it's, it's the kind of stuff that you see with like modern Western uh, women rappers that uh, they bring a lot of attitude and a lot of sass and a lot of confidence um, that a lot of people find very attractive. And uh, you know, so solo yon. <laughs> Solo Yan, I love you. Why not? I'm a gym judge, I'm not a gym judge. 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 distracted by what whatever the this acid trip I'm on but the uh, the vocal <laughs> oh solo yawn hmm. Damn, that look is something. I like this. Uh, <laughs> this was fun. I don't. I. I don't. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what's really happening here. Uh, I don't know what the significance is of. I don't know what Muno is. All that. So definitely, people can fill me in for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Soyan really not. Is, is it a surprise? No. Um, if you were to ask me before, like, do I think that? Uh, she could do solo stuff, you know. Yeah, uh, of course <laughs> she could do. She could do construction. Like I don't know. She. What am I gonna tell her? She can't do. But um, I really like that this was very. It was. It was. It was very vocal focused. It was cute and it was sassy. Obviously, she brought in. Um, she brought in Big Yan the rapper. So really, this is solo Yan featuring Big Yan X Muno. <laughs> uh, but. I really like that. I really like what she did. I really like what she brought. I thought she sounded great. I think she looks great. I love this look with the bangs, and I like this outfit. Um, yeah, she looked really good. I would love to see her with uh, purple hair uh, because 
Purple is one of my favorite colors, and I would love to see Soyon rock that. Um, but yeah, this was really dope. I'm going to um, check for a lyric video and see if I can find one to... Excuse me. Sorry, my cat is trying to get my attention, and he is knocking everything off of the other side of my desk. Little asshole. Um, I love him. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah. I'm on a can of handle that's okay. Ha. Hey. Yo, this picture. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I'm on a can of handle that's okay. Hmm. Hey. Yo, I like this message. This is dope. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh! See, this is why we gotta do this. This is why we gotta do it. Um, I first up the get the message. I love this message. Uh, this is definitely a very which which makes sense with the video. The I mean, it had this cute cartoon thing, which I still am not sure I understand. But other than just being it being cute, but um, the video was definitely upbeat. It was bright. It was pink. It was cute. So the the lyrics make sense being positive. Also, if this is some kind of a collaboration or whatever, it's it's very upbeat. It's got a really nice positive uh, vibe and tone and message. Um, and then even in her rap verse right here, uh, we're talking about. Um, we're talking about not worrying about what people say, doing what you want. I mean, it's that kind of, it's that G idol uh, persona that, or that G idol um, ethos, I guess, that we know and love. So that's it's not surprising, but it's also it's just always awesome to see the different ways that she expresses that. And I also like this. There's nothing set in stone, but it'll work out one way or another. Um, that, you know, things saying things aren't set in stone, it can say that, like, things aren't permanent. They're always subject to change. That can be scary, but it can also be a good thing, which she mentions later by pioneering a new path. It'll work out somehow. We don't have a plan, but we're going to get there. That's just, it's very positive. <laughs> Okay. I love that. What does it matter if somebody babbles about my life? And I can tell you, I, obviously I'm new to Neverland, uh, but I can definitely understand that ne they, uh, G Idol and Neverland get a lot of people talking. They get a lot of hate. They get a lot of ridiculous criticism. Soyon herself gets a lot of stupid stuff said, uh, and this is her attitude about it, basically, that it doesn't matter. Uh, who, what was it? What does it matter to me how much someone babbles? They're just babbling, and even even using the term, I mean, I know it's a translation, but assuming that the uh, the word is of a similar connotation, babbling is it's like what babies do. It's something that you don't take seriously. It's not something you worry about. And I really like the way that that's being framed. Um, and no matter how much I fail, I'll handle it on my own. You know that. I fucking love that. That is so, that's hard. Uh, because failure is a part of life. She's a producer, a writer, a leader, a creator, 
a baller, a boss, she has failed. Um, you don't, you don't do all the stuff she's done. You don't write songs. You don't produce things. You don't make business decisions. You don't do strategy for rollouts. You don't do all of that without some mistakes, without learning from it, without some failures, but without that. And then that leads to growth. That's what makes someone a good leader or a good creator or a good artist. And obviously she's a great version of all of those things. So I really like that. And then I even, I, she could have just said, no matter how much I fail, I'll handle it, but I handle it on my own. She doesn't need anybody else. She's going to handle it herself. And then uh, she didn't even need to add, but saying, you know, that she's telling you, you already know that she doesn't care and she's going to handle it. I really like this line. <laughs> With a fearless speed, stepping on goalless targets. Um, that's just that's just a cool line. <laughs> but uh, she she's gonna say later, I think, uh, recklessly driving. So fearless speed, reckless driving, stepping on targets. Talking about goals and people that don't have goals. Dope. There you go. Reckless driving can also pioneer new paths. I mean, that shit is fire. That is dope. Uh, because reckless driving obviously doesn't have a good connotation. Uh, <laughs> and um, in fearless speed, I guess, um, also has a similar connotation of, like, danger. And reckless driving is literally a criticism. Like, you get, you, someone is criticized, you say they're driving recklessly, and she gets criticized. g Idol gets criticized, Soyeon gets criticized, um, Neverland criticizes Cube all the time. Uh, so there's a lot of criticism, but what she's saying is... The things that you get criticized for are also the things that can start something new. And it's kind of tongue-in-cheek because if you're driving on the road and you're driving so recklessly that you're not following the road, <laughs> you're not actually, you're not pioneering a new path necessarily. You're like driving on the sidewalk or going through a shopping mall or something like that. But, um, but not taking it literally, reckless driving, talking about not having a plan, talking about nothing being set in stone, talking about forging your own path, going off the path, doing what you want, even though others are going to criticize and not understand, but that you are going to then pave a new road that you started and that other people are probably going to follow. And that right there, I mean, this this bar right here, the, the line before this and this one are probably a great um, like encapsulation, I think, of basically Soyeon and G-Idol in like the K-pop sphere of people being like, this isn't going to work, this is stupid, this doesn't make sense, and then the shit fucking works. Talk, criticizing wife, shit blew up. Um, talking about, you know, uh, charts and all that stuff, and then fate fucking destroys. Like, um, it's just, it's perfect. I mean, I can talk about this line for an hour. I don't know what, I don't know what Mr. L is, but, like, I'm thinking, like, an L, like, taking an L, so I, let me know if Mr. L is, is a reference to something, but, um, if it's not, if it's just, like, talking about, like, taking L's, I think that's interesting. Because then she says, I don't really care if I lose or I'm forgotten, which, obviously, no artist, producer, rapper, singer, group leader actually wants to lose or be forgotten. Um, that, this is kind of like, a a little bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not boisterous bluster maybe of like being like i don't care if i fail i don't lose because really what it is is that she's willing to take the chance but like she's going to succeed she thinks she's going to succeed we know she's going to succeed um but there's always that risk and she's basically saying i don't care about that risk rather than saying like she doesn't actually want uh g idol's next album to not do well but what she's saying is that she's willing to take that risk to stay true to her art and to her message and that's why you know we fucking love and worship her so like saying mr l like mr loss or mr loser or like talking about loss the l the the theoretical l in, in just personifying it uh, unless it means something else but i'm taking it that way of being like 
Mr. L, why are you so worried? I don't care if I lose. I just think that's cool. Hey. Hey. Hey, yo! Yes. So, again, I don't know if Mr. L is somebody, but whether it is or isn't, the rest of it works the same way. It's just another layer that I may or may not understand. But after this... I don't really care if I lose or if I'm forgotten. And I love her flow here. You said I was crazy telling me to take the easy path. So again, the criticism that G Idol and that Soyan are always feeling, it's about the way that they do things, the sound, the styling, the concepts. Whatever the whatever the fuck people uh, can talk about, they will, and they'll criticize Soyan and G Idol for. So, um, and she's saying you you told me to take the easy path, or you're telling me to take the easy path. You said I was crazy because I wasn't taking that easy path. And here, the easy path could be following trends. Like if Soyan and G Idol wanted to follow trends. And I'm not talking shit about the groups that do this, but we all know, if you watch my channel by now, you know that easy listening, slow, soft, like, effervescent kind of uh, vocals and instrumental, there's a place for that. Some of it's really, really nice and very catchy, but it's less my style. It's not exactly my thing. Um, and if she wanted to follow trends, g Idol would be doing that. But g Idol's not doing that. The closest they got to that was probably maybe Fate, because that was, like, the softest thing that they had on that album. But, like, that was nothing like the trend. Um, and she's, that would be the easy path. Follow the trend. But she doesn't follow the trend. She's a trailblazer. She's recklessly driving her car up on the sidewalk. Pedestrians have to flee for their lives because she's going on her own road. She said, fuck your road. I'm going where I want to go. Um, and then this next part is... Ab I feel so bad because I keep interrupting the flow and I just want to... Well, I'll just play the verse again after. But you were like that... You were like that back then too. Don't act surprised again. Fucking baller, Big Yon. Uh, she's saying... You, 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 you told me I was crazy. You told me to follow the easy path. You said that before and you were surprised because you were wrong and I was right. So you're doing it again? Don't act surprised again because we've been here before. Um, and it's it's I, it's like that. It's it's like keep that energy, but don't pretend that you're surprised every time I prove you wrong because that's what I keep doing and that's what I'm going to continue to do and that's why she is such a fucking boss. We'll just we'll go what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I'm too far. Uh, tell Beautiful, beautiful delivery. First off, the vocals, vocal Yan, excellent. Um, Big Yan did a great feature on <laughs> on Solo Yan's song, um, but maybe it'll be different from what's considered right. You know that everybody talks about the trend and everybody's worried about numbers and what's normally done and all that stuff. Like people. People think, and, and trends and, and all that stuff are fine, but when you start to treat those things as, like, law, like, that's what's right. What's right is to do what everybody else is doing. That means that if you stray from the path, um, which is one of my favorite bands, by the way, uh, <laughs> if you stray from the path, um, you're going to be treated like you are doing something wrong because... People are like, well, that's not what everybody else is doing, so it must be wrong. Um, it's it's confusing. People hate what they don't understand. They don't understand things that are different. G Idol and Soyan challenge those things, and that's why people hate them so much. So um, I just everything about this is she just she worked so much messaging into this song. <laughs> 
Oh wow, the least ones. Mm. Yep. Right. Uh. So good. Um, so I love let loose and go wildly. Back too far. What if we stumble a few times? What if we fall apart? That's like what I was saying before, where she said, I don't care if I fail. That's obviously not true. But she is saying, I don't care if I'm taking that risk because that's what I have to do. Um, what if we stumble a few times? What if we fail? What if something flops? What if it doesn't do numbers? Um, all that stupid shit that I fucking hate uh, <laughs> when people talk about. Um, I get it. Like, you want them to be commercially successful, but I think people go a little too far, but that's a separate conversation. Um, so so what if we stumble a few times? What if we fall apart? Don't matter. Ooh. What if we're wrong? Freely move, being honest, just as we are. Cool. Perfect. Never afraid. I love it. It's be true to yourself. Yes, absolutely. Just it's it's a nice little summary of basically everything that she said. Before. So before we go into that part, again, this is really, really nice. I love this right here. She's a leader, right? She's a rapper, writer, producer, but she's also a leader of a group. Um, and I don't know them personally, which may surprise you. <laughs> I know you're like, what? What do you mean? I thought you hung out with. J I wish. Um, that'd be fucking dope. But um, except for I guess the language barrier, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, so I told you to try anything, and now I'm doing just that right now. So she's she's practicing what she preaches. She is leading by example. Um, she told you be yourself. In I don't. I'm not. I want to make it very clear. I am not. I do not think that she is criticizing other groups and other artists. But uh, there are a lot of songs made by other artists, including artists that I really like, um, of groups that just, you know, they don't necessarily write their own stuff. Um, they, you know, sometimes some groups just make do different things. That's why I don't pick like one group that I love because I go to different groups for different stuff. And there are a lot of popular, upbeat, fun songs that say things like be yourself, love you, you don't need anyone, whatever. But like. It's, it's a nice message, but it's a little more superficial than what G-Idol is usually expressing. Um, and so she's, she, but, and they also, they follow trends. Like, you could have a trend-following song that has lyrics in it that talk about, they could say, blaze your own path, pave your own road, but while doing something that everybody else does. Um, and she's saying, I told you to do that, and now I'm literally doing that. I am doing what I told you to do, and... There's two different ways to look at it. Like I said, that could be practicing what you preach, which is something that you say when it's like, all right, don't just be all talk. Do what you're saying also. But then there's also leading by example, which is that if you do something, other people are more likely to follow you, um, you know, in professional settings, social settings, like in in work. Uh, I have had a lot of experience supervising people and, and leading people, and you are a better leader and you have a better connection with the people that you lead and that you direct if you are the one that is on the front doing the same stuff when you need to, um, to show that you're not just giving orders, you're not just telling people what to do you're leading by example. They know that you're not having people do anything that you wouldn't do yourself. And I'm sure that's why the members of G-Idol will do anything that Soyan uh, wants them to do. And I'm not saying she bosses them around like that. I'm just saying that they have that kind of connection. They probably have 
that kind of a deep relationship because of the kind of leader in person that she is. And there's a lot of layers and a lot of different ways you could read this line, but I think this is very important and very powerful and very true to who she seems to be. Mm. Love the way she delivers this line. Beautiful. Sounds beautiful. Uh, she's beautiful. Her raps are beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> Sorry, my uh, cat is very uh, needy today. Um, but final thoughts because I just realized this is a very long <laughs> video <laughs> for one song. Um, if you're still here, thank you and I love you. Uh, great request, F and Tomboy. I hope you're still watching. Uh, <laughs> and I also hope this is the right song, because I have a I have a little bit of a track record doing the wrong things that you request, but, um, anyway, this was really dope, I thought this was really cool, it's, cr I'm really glad I checked out the lyrics, because you might not have known just from how pretty and bright and upbeat and pink that music video was, how much meaning and how deep of a message was packed into the lyrics of this. Um, I wish the, the subtitles were just on that so I could have just watched the music video multiple times with it, but hey, that's fine. I will revisit the music video, I can assure you, because um, she looks great. Um, <laughs> but this was really dope. Let me know uh, what you all think. Let me know if you think I was reaching. Let me know what the hell Muno is. Um, let me know what Mr. L is, uh, if I was wrong about that. But if I was wrong about that, that's the only thing I was wrong about. I'm pretty confident because I think I have a pretty good grasp on, on the rest of the messaging. But definitely let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I missed. Let me know what you'd be interested in seeing next. Um, I am behind. I have stuff recorded for G Idol and KDA that I haven't posted. Um, so I think I'll probably end up posting this first just because priorities. Uh, but hopefully I'll get all that. But tell me what you want to see. I'm rambling. This video is going to be four hours long because it's G Idol. Anyway, never links. Love you. I'll see you later. Stay fresh.